Morning everyone, we are going back, I say we because I'm going to get James, so there is two of us, uh, we're going back to the 5k extension job, okay, uh, we were there yesterday, we did a little bit, we did a, a run to TLC, we went and got a load of bits from there, um, yeah, I had a bit of a cock up yesterday, I'll show you that, with the worktop, uh, not the worktop, the side cupboard, I was cutting a double socket and I took my eye off the ball for a minute, and um, not a minute, a second, and I scratched the side, but luckily... I went to the manufacturer and got a touch-up pen. So it's not so bad, but I'll have another go at it today, making it look a bit better. But we'll get there. We'll show you around. We'll go and get James and we crack on. We'll try and get James on film, see if he's ready for the morning. He's always out early. It's good. Let's see how ready he is for the morning. Here he comes. Morning, Morning James. You're on it, mate. <laughs> He's on camera. <laughs> He's not with it. Could you pick that iPad up, mate? Some woman just pulled out in front of me. Cheers, mate. Oh, I thought I'd get you on camera. Look, it's getting there. Remember this? Put the tray up there. I'll do a picture now. There was, there was some tray there. I did the lighting, etc. in here. So we are back today to do the lights. I started yesterday to do the sockets. This is where I messed up a little bit here. We'll get into that in a bit, but it's not too bad. But yeah, we got some flat plated night bridge sockets and stuff. So yeah, James is excited. Yeah. We're going to get on with it. Right, we've just done this switch. So we've got the V-Pro um, grid system. This is the two dimmers. This is a Quinetic, believe it or not. And this is a normal switch. So we've got one dimmer switch is gonna do the, we're gonna do the spots next, six spots through here. Second dimmer switch is gonna do a pendant over this um, island. Third one is gonna do Quinetic receiver that's gonna be mounted up in that cupboard at the back there going to do some LED strips there and there and also a kinetic switch there so you can match one switch to two kinetic receivers it's going to do some lights under here along here once they fitted the worktop and under there and that switch there is going to be a kill switch for a color changing LED tape that's going to be mounted along there okay we got James we got doggy one, doggy two. So I've got three apprentices today. Yeah. So, this is why, James, you do a little plan. Look, that's easy, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So the builder, bless him, he's redone this ceiling. And believe it or not, he did mark the lights on the plasterboard, but then the plaster has now skimmed it and... Um, paint and it's been painted and that's it so we don't know where those ones are we these were originals so i wasn't getting involved in those but obviously we need to bring them through and i'm going to fit new lights on um we've got the oven to do today we started to fit our night's bridge which are quite nice and this is the socket that i messed up the i don't know if you can see that it, it's i've got a wax pen and a little kit it's actually blended in quite nicely but Look at that scratching already, look. That socket. Oh, I haven't even done nothing to oh, it, look. Mm, but yeah, look, but that's the that's where I did the work top, the, the um, side panel, but you can't see it, so. So looking at my plan, that is the steel beam that is there. And then we've got two lights in this little area here. I think I measured off 600, which I've wrote there, but I don't know if it's going to be far enough out because they've got that big tall boy there now. So it might end up going there somewhere. But if you get the tape measure, James, if you go, can you reach so it's on the back wall, but on the ceiling? So above the, yeah. that's it, yeah. Go there so it touches the back wall and then tell me where 60 is. See, it's right there. Yeah, it's not going to be far enough out. Okay. So we're going to have to, hmm. Trouble is 600. What's 600 look like here? Come to this cupboard here. How far is it roughly? Have a look at the tape measure. Yeah, see, 600 ain't too bad. It's over the worktop, it's where you want it. 
It's going to be over here somewhere. So what do we do? Do we keep that in line? Hmm. I don't know. I think we keep... So what's that? 740. What's 7... F oh, it's different. Look, it's, even, it's staggered. Look, that beam yeah. staggered. What's 740 like off there, mate? Off of that one? This one? Yeah, 740. Why is it so far over? 740. It's not 240. That's the seven. That's like a two. <laughs> they should be 1260 between. So 61260 between. There's no way that's 740. I don't know what that 740 is. That's not 740. Is that 140? No, I don't know. Right. I don't know. <laughs> so pretty standard for me. I got the DAD on me whole saw. Gone for the loose ecos. I always go for these. These work great with these V-Pro dimmers. I uh, got these uh, new um, needers, one for me, one for James or whoever's working with me. Um, Paul, PRS Supplies, I'll put a link to his website here. He's a nice chap if you want, want anything. I always get asked, where do you get your mats and that from? It's Paul. James has just gone to get the mat um, so we can put it down on there. And we can work safely. We'll cover the oven. Um, we'll just put that on the oven. Stick him on the oven, mate. Um, this is the largest one that he does work mat wise, so it's fairly large. Look, just a bit of protection. Um, yeah, Paul PRS Supplies, that's him. Right, we're going to mark these up now. It's just a bit different to what I actually wired it because I didn't know there was a tall boy um, going to be so big here. So we're going to have to bring this one in slightly, and then these two will line up. But we have got this separation, as James has pointed out. This steel beam that I can reach. Um, it's going to break this area up, so we're not going to notice the offset. But these three we will keep in line. So we've, I had to refer back to an old video, actually, when I wired this, which was quite handy. Um, this wall has come out this way slightly because they've battened it off. So I've had to move the lights this way. But luckily, I had the old video of where the, they overboarded this ceiling. So there's battens. So we've managed to come this way a little bit, which looks, you know, it looks OK. The smoke's come out where it should be. So we found those two. These two are going to be a bit closer to this beam because this beam is offset. So it will push it that way, but it will look right. It will look right because these three will be in line, but you want a light right over the worktop. They've got that one over the worktop, this one over the oven. We have got to put a extractor up with a light, so that will give them enough light over that oven. Um, and then we've got this pendant here anyway. So yeah, I think it's going to be fine. So we're going to get on with these now and second fix in a minute. Well, as you can see, I haven't got mask on, I haven't got goggles because we're using the DAD, 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 crap collector, yeah? And you'll see that there's literally no dust, yeah? Okay. So we've just got the cables there. We've got a little bit of ceiling we've got to take out because we've had to move our holes over, but yeah, perfect. Look, James refuses to use the steps. Look, he's so tall. Has he gone up through? Yeah. And if you do him on the four angles, like yeah. poke him at different angles like I did, that'll give us the whole radius of the... That's it, working through. Keep going, that's probably the second plasterboard ceiling. Keep going. That's it, yeah, that's fine. And then, yeah, north, south, east and west. Go on. Oh dear, we'll get the filler out. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, lovely. We know that's clear that way because we can see that timber. So if you just go that way now. A little wiggle. Yeah, that's it. In the hole. Perfect. Super duper. Right, we haven't actually done any filming today. We've been flat out and the client's been painting, so it's been a little bit sort of miss, hit and miss. But as you can see, we've got our spotlights on. We've done our smoke alarms. We've got our nice little pendant over there. We've got some sockets done. The oven is on. 
I've had to put it on a 32 amp at the minute because my 40 amp RCBO isn't here yet. And they want to do some cooking over the weekend, which is fine. What else can I say? We've done, we sort of picked up where the other electrician left off in here. Um, he's he done a, a switch. So we've, we've put one of the old down lights in here with a nice switch. So we've got a down light and a fan isolator. The fan's going to go out the back there, be hard piped through the garage, which is there. That's going to be a fan switch so they can have the fan on and off. So that's done. Um, I don't know if I showed you the kinetic comparison. I don't know. So I've got the cover plate on, which is quite nice. That's kinetic. That's the normal. And then two dimmers. So you can hardly tell the difference of that. Yeah, I can't really tell you much more, to be fair. James, have you got anything to say? No. Nothing to say? No. No. Um, yeah. I'm just about to do a single socket under here, which is switched from that fuse spur for the dishwasher. So that will just go in here and then it's accessible plug. So they can change a fuse if it ever blows. That's about it, really. Um, yeah, until next time. We'll probably be back here Monday, so we might be able to film, but... The chip is here, so it's a bit awkward because he has his radio on full blast. So anyway, see you in a bit. Good morning. It is the next day. We've got, uh, we're going to go and get James first. We've got lots and lots of, do you know when you get lots and lots of jobs, little ones? So we've got to go and finish the loft lights where the wasps were. We've got to go and do a loft light and a socket, an extra black um, socket downstairs. I've got to go and put an outside light up, a pendant up for someone's dining table, We've got to go and do a nest, um, a nest in store, and we've got to go and do um, a light down and put a, a pendant up. So, a few little jobs to do, and we'll take you along with us. The nest. Why did nest put that screw there? Why? That's bloody annoying. Apart from that, it was quite nice to find this, neat and tidy. And you can understand it. James is giving me some labels. As you can see, got our nest link in. Wiring centre was existing. Power supply was labelled it up. Three amp fuse fitted. James is doing me the labels. We then got to just go and do the... Recite the thermostat to a different room. Um because we're moving it from the hallway to the actual living area because it wasn't working in the hallway. It was right next to a rad, so we're going to recite and we just have to move that cable there to make that 12 volt to feed the thermostat because it's going on the wall. Morning, everybody. So there's a bit of a jump in the video. We had a nightmare about that uh, nest job. It turned out I had to go off and get another uh, tank stat. The amount of ones I do and the tank stats are faulty. Yeah, weird. It does weird things with the heat in you. Yeah, anyway. So we're going back to the extension job we're finishing off. So these are the lights I normally go for, the Luceco fire rated down lights. And I've picked up these angled ones as well. Look. Obviously, the sealed units are IP65, and these are only IP20, so they're not really any good for bathroom unless they're over 2.25, but um, these are fairly decent for angled ceilings. So we'll fit these. I'll see if I can open this with one hand, and I'll show you it. I know I get mined at, mined at for shoddy camera work, but this is real life, yeah? So they're actually massive, big, chunky units. I think they take an 83 mil cutter, whereas the others are 75, so they're bigger. And then look, we can get that angled bezel on there. And they look quite nice, don't they? Look, so they're probably going to go that way. The way the ceiling is, they're going to go that way. So they angle into the room. Yeah, we're going to do those. We've got a few jobs to do today. And we're working late uh, for somebody that does data cabling. So we've got to go and do that. We can't film any of that because it's in hospital, unfortunately. And we, I picked up James some gloves. He's forever moaning about his hands. So James, there's your bloody gloves. And I picked him up a nice set of screwdrivers, look. So, because he's he's got a little tool kit, but I'm going to try and build him up some tools, okay? So there for James. We'll get him, see what he thinks of the tools, and then we go to the job. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? 
<laughs> Morning. Morning, mate. Matt, I got you some gloves. Oh, thank you. And look. Oh, look. Oh, oh that's nice, isn't it? Thank you. Right, let's go. <laughs> the chip is here. <laughs> yeah. The chip is here. Right, so James is, this is what we're getting on with. The plumber, who is the who lives here, he's drilled the whole for us for the extractor. James is now marking up these three angled spots. We're gonna center of the Velux and then center of that gap along there, okay? We're gonna bang these three lights up as well. <clears throat> Beautiful. Oh, let's leave them like that for now. So as you saw there, we um, we didn't get much footage because Sean the chippy was there. It's very hard to film with a radio etc on. But um, as you saw there, we used the Luceco angled. They're 86 mil, 83 mil. Was it 83 mil? Not sure. <laughs> Not sure. 83 mil hole and the others are 75, so they're a bit bigger. But they're good quality actually. I didn't realise the bezel actually does come off, so you can still paint. So it's a removable bezel, which is nice for a, an angled fit. And the only annoying thing is the builder didn't take any Celotex out, so we had to. Faff around that, which was nice. We've done some switches. We now got to go to the other job where the the wasps are in the loft. We have got to go and do that. Do an extra black black socket, and then we got to go and finish that job where James helped me wire the little utility and stuff. Not the utility, the kitchen. And then we've got to work late tonight, so a bit of a rush. But we'll see you in a minute. Right, we are back in the loft. Do you remember this little lofty with that? So they are now. On the floor they've been exterminated so we're putting a light what i'm going to do we've got an existing light which is staying and we're going to put two led bulkhead two led as i said i don't like changing these lights because the, the client can change these if they go we're going to put them up one this end because you can see how dark it is one's going to go up here literally here somewhere i believe just here so it's going to light this area up and then we'll probably do one down there i don't know where I'm going to put them yet, maybe in here, so it shines up and down, but maybe I'll put it up there. I'm not sure yet, we'll see when I get into it, but it's, it's quite simple. We've already got a switch feed and a neutral at that light there, so we're just going to extend off of that one um, and put two lights on your end. Oh my God, where's his head? <laughs> where's his head? <laughs> where's his head? So frigging tall, look. I can't, look, my head's like, uh, <laughs> like this. <laughs> Oh, I think we're going to go with one ear, to be fair. That's going to look all right. I'd grow this side, reduce wiring, and then it's going to give us a lot. We don't need to light this up. This is pointless. So just down here. So we'll clip him along this beam. Got this nice beam. We'll just pop up to the light. Easy peasy. So as simple as that, really. Live and neutral. Keep it nice and simple. I've gone for Crabtree. Bit better quality. It's just clipped down. Runs along. Existing light. James has gone to get me another screw to put in there. Yeah, put that on. Keep it nice and simple. As I say, client can change the lamps then if these go. James goes to the van and he comes back with a coffee, which is absolutely boiling hot. My frigging fingers. Ah! Thank you, James. Oh, you got that screw, mate. You got the one screw wonder. Quite a few. That's right. Stick him. Okay. Oh, there he is. Stick, uh, stick a couple in that box. I love the old. The uni, the uni light, not an ad, just really good lights. Okay, there we go, that's better, we see what we're doing now. James has got his nice new gloves on, look. Oh, that's very nice. So he's taking off the cover for me. We're then gonna get those two cables in, okay? That'll probably be all right, mate. And then he should wiggle off, just the front cover. Probably slightly rough and it's been up there for a while, I bet. Can I undo him a bit more, do you think? I think so. Yeah. Oh, 
push bring the selfie stick in, shouldn't I? <laughs> right, pull the front cover forward towards you now. That's it. And then it, and then do them on the other side. Same. Why are you so tall? <laughs> Where's his head? There he is. <laughs> it's an ideal job for James. Look, he can just fit through the, the rafters. And then that should pull off. And if I get this side, yes, I can reach it, just. Should, pivot forward, there we go. Right, sit him down there, here we go. So we'll put some sleeving on there, I think. And then our cables will go into there. We'll not even put a grommet on there. Lovely and bright. Is it lovely and bright up there, James? It is. What's it like? up in the clouds there we go that's better isn't it look remember that dark spot there it's now a nice bright place <laughs> if that makes sense didn't need anything up there it's just down here so this is right for a loft conversion actually <laughs> ah right what those what those yeah you have to put some steels in you'd have two new steels sat on the two walls and then build a new floor Brace the roof, and yeah, you could just, because these are big enough, you just move, move the head height up, right. and then you'd have a room up here then. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Put a price in for that, James, shall we? <laughs> right, that is us done in this loft, finally. As you can see, it's a lot brighter. And again, if these lamps go, client can change them themselves. we got to go downstairs now, do one socket. we get a picture of that. Um, and then we're off to another job. Hopefully reuse this circuit. Feed it into here. So remember this, this is now getting done. This is the other side, so this is oven here. We've obviously got 100 mil away. We've got to put a single socket here for this. Same here, but a switch spur for the under cabinet lights. Oven switch is gonna go in there because we just can't fit it anywhere here. And then extractor is gonna go through the cupboard and then we're gonna put a switch somewhere for the extractor as well. But we've got to do the oven point and stuff, but we've got to chase these in, so we'll see how we get on with that. So we've got a decent radio here, we can use that. It's on a 16 amp. We've marked up, see them two singles, 100 mil, two singles, and then a double to try and replicate it that side. But I've got to flush these in now, so. I'll just see you shortly when we've sort of sworn and smashed this wall about. Got our new leg in. That's going to be for our under cabinet lighting. James is cutting in a socket, low level. We're going to reuse this existing radio, obviously, wire behind here. I've then drilled out that one. It's going to have to be made good with sand and cement. So it's doubling a, a single and a single switch for the lights, single socket and a double socket over here. There we go. I've just got home. It is now quarter to quarter to ten. I've just dropped James off. I'm back home. Quarter to ten. We were pulling in some rainbow spaghetti um, at one of the hospitals in Oxford, which was nice. Got to do the same tomorrow and the same Thursday night. So two, three, ten o'clock finishes this week. Happy days. Anyway, good to be busy, isn't it? So take care. Thanks for watching this one. Bit random, but back to normal. Normal videos will resume shortly. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.